Hello and welcome. I'm Barry Rosenberg. Joining me is Mike Coulter, Senior Vice President of Corporate Business Development for Leonardo DRS and President of Leonardo DRS International. We're going to be talking about the defense needs of Middle East countries, particularly the UAE, which is hosting IDEX this month. So first question, Mike, what would you say is the main one or two threat scenarios for the Middle East? And how can countries like the UAE use enabling capabilities and technologies to address that threat? Thanks, Barry. Uh, good morning, it's great to be with you. Ukraine has captivated international audiences in the past year, but I would tell you our partners in the Middle East have been operating in this complex environment for years now. Uh, what we are seeing now for the first time on news channels, uh, our partners in the UAE have been talking to us uh, about for five or 10 years. Uh, I would highlight uh, the plethora of unmanned aerial systems out there, which has driven an, an urgent need for air defense capabilities, protecting soldiers from drones and larger air threats. Uh, a dynamic battlefield includes uh, electromagnetic spectrum and cyberspace, which has driven uh, a technology need for capabilities like signal recognition, detection, identification, in order to detect, exploit, and attack. And of course, the key to everything is uh, secure communication. So uh, secure battle management that is operable, uh, both with the, the host country's forces, but with partner forces are, are key technologies for today's environment. So you mentioned uh, threats such as unmanned systems, and I know that the uh, Leonardo DRS is working closely with the U.S. Army on its counter UAS program, and in fact, provides the radar and sensors for the program of record. You also have a, a, a number of important military partnerships with the UAE. Can you tell us a little bit about those? Sure. Uh, I would on, on the partnerships in UAE, we're very proud of them. I, People say international business is different and hard, and they're right. Um, so for that reason, DRS made a decision about 15 years ago that um, we weren't going to be doing international business. We were going to be doing home market business, and we committed to making UAE a home market. So for the past 15 years, we've developed deep relationships, both with the Emirati Armed Forces, but particularly importantly with uh, UAE defense industry. So if it's been working with uh, NIMR to deliver co uh, capable combat vehicles to the UAE Armed Forces, or working with uh, with uh, Earth uh, on electro optics for the Emirati Armed Forces. We've worked with Edge to provide combat training uh, to the Emirati Air Force, uh, with Abu Dhabi Shipbuilding to provide Navy EW, and now with International Golden Group to provide uh, the C4I system for the Emirati Navy. So uh, we have those deep partnerships and looking forward, we're looking to expand those. Uh, you mentioned we're the program of record for counter UAS in the United States, a program called MLIDS as well as the short range air defense program called uh, MSHORAD. So we're currently talking to Emirati partners about bringing those uh, to the UAE. Um, and we recently acquired a, a company called RADA, which is the leader in the world on, on tactical radars. Uh, so they lead the way in defining unseen threats and, and uh, very small threats uh, uh, rele uh, relevant to counter UAS. And then last I'd highlight, we have ongoing conversations with the UAE Space Agency as uh, space has become a priority, not just of the U.S., but of the UAE, to bring space sensing capability into the UAE. At the end of the day, it's about partnership, not sales. As you know, the U.S. is focused on interoperability between its services and the allies. What are your thoughts on how the UAE and others can use the enabling technologies that we've been talking about to be more interoperable with the U.S.? At the end of the day, you don't fight alone. You fight with friends and partners. So interoperability is critical. The U.S. government has long recognized this. So we've enjoyed strong U.S. government support, both in uh, technology release, but also in foreign military financing uh, into the region to uh, expand interoperability with uh, allied forces. We're very proud of the success that we've had on battle management uh, with uh, EDGE in the UAE. There's a program called ELTS, which is the UAE's battle management program. And it is the exact same backbone that the U.S. uses on their program called MFOX and that the U.K. uses on Bowman. So, um, now we're working with EDGE to export that capability from UAE to other regional partners, having recently done so in, in Bahrain. So we're very proud of interoperability. I would say the next step is what uh, partners are now calling interchangeability. So that is when your partner is not able to be there, 
Um, how can you operate and then support those systems uh, commonly? So we've had a, we have a large effort now going into UAE on how to support common systems that both the U.S. and the UAE are using. Uh, we're working with um, on the ELTS program to support battle management in the UAE. And uh, similarly, we're working with EDGE to support all of our EOIR sensors uh, in the UAE. So that was an interesting comment on uh, not necessarily interoperability, but uh, interchangeability. Um, so thank you for that comment and thank you for uh, participating today and appreciate everyone watching.